So you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, Florida, and you're considering moving to Yuli, Florida, which is also known as the northernmost part of Jacksonville, Florida. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be covering all the things that you need to know, including a map tour and seeing what homes are available in the area. My name is Yasha Wells, your favorite Jacksonville realtor. Let's jump right in. All right, we are in Yuli, Florida, an area that I also like to frequent myself. I like Yuli because it's a lot of new construction and new developments in the area. And I love going to Fernandina Beach, but we'll be covering that in a different video. All right, so Yuli, the best way to get to Yuli is from 95. That is the easiest way to get to Yuli or the Yuli area. And um, you would have to pass, of course, the Pecan Park area, um, you'll also pass Jacksonville International Airport. It's literally like maybe an exit or two from the airport and not actually too far, maybe about 15 minutes tops to get to Yuli. So within Yuli, you'll see that there's this outline here of every, you know, basically what is considered Yuli technically. Um, and then in, like I mentioned in another video, we will cover Fernandina because it's literally its neighbor. And um, maybe, I wanna say maybe about five years ago or so, they changed the um, county lines for Fernand what would be considered Fernandina and what would be considered Yuli. So if you are here coming right off of the highway, there's actually a couple of different things going on. So we have Yuli over here, and then we also have the other part of Nassau County as well, which would be this way. Um, but there's a lot of new construction over here, a lot of new construction here within the wildlife area. It's literally like a completely new uh, master planned community and area. Um, tons of shopping. They even have Tesla chargers um, over in this area. They have new hospitals also on this side. They have a new public shopping plaza. There's just so much going on, but Wildlife is its own thing in itself. Uh, some other things to keep in mind is before this used to be a one way road, basically just a two lane highway to get to Fernandina. Um, but now since then they've expanded the roadways. I want to say there's about at least three to four lanes on each side because the area has grown so much. Um, some other things to note as well are um, this is probably one of your main, like I said, this is the main drag. You'll also have like Target, just tons of shopping on this left side here but then when you're first coming off the highway over here you'll have some of the newer things um they're still developing the area and tons of construction going on so just be mindful you have like those construction trucks and just all of that um also this is where yuli high school is located so this will be the main public high school that is available um and then an area that i also frequent a lot is gtf paintball um so me and my family we travel from um the you know know Jacksonville Center of Jacksonville to GTF paintball and um, we go there mostly when it's uh, during the cooler months or at least like that transition time so because we don't want to get uh, ate up with, by mosquitoes or anything like that but paintball is fun they also have a um, clay shooting uh, range that's also in the area over here as well and there's also a really good I want to say it's a good um, barbecue spot and this may be it right here yes this barbecue spot's really good. And then of course you have gas stations and things like that as well. But in regards to neighborhoods, we'll get deeper into that, but let's take a look a little bit more on this side to see what else is available. All right, continuing on. So like I mentioned, you have the Publix, Target, like literally the, this is like probably the main shopping plaza in the area um, that I would consider. Their Target is actually really good. They have some of the best stuff that I've seen at a Target at this location right here. So if you're a Target girly or just Target person in general, or I, should I say Target, uh, this would be the Target to go to. <laughs> so I'm not for sure if you know, but 
Florida is also considered the Bible Belt. So you'll see a lot or a part of the Bible Belt. You'll see a lot of different churches in the area. Um, I do not go to any or have not been to any of the uh, churches or ministries in the area. So I couldn't tell you much about them. Um, but as you're driving a little bit further south, now we're kind of getting, because if you see the red dotted line, we're getting into Fernandina. But like I said, this is the main drag that you'll be on when you enter the area. And there is just so much to see and do. And Yuli is a special part of Jacksonville um, where it's still, I feel very affordable for homes and have seen that it is very affordable for housing and things like that, um, where you can get a really good size home, you know, a single family home. And I would say this is more predominantly single family than anything else that I've seen outside of like wild, the wildlife uh, community, because they have a mix of a lot of things going on apartment complex. Um, we have the 55 and up in that area. Uh, just a lot of you know, diverse housing options within Wildlight. But along the area that's outlined with the red dots, um, you would predominantly see single family homes. You'll definitely still see, you'll still have like that country feel in addition because um, it's still really underdeveloped, but it's almost really developed. And I'm looking forward to one of the next videos that I do uh, regarding Fernandina because that in itself, I have so much to talk about with with Fernandina. So <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe and just stay tuned for that if you're curious about Fernandina or I'll link it somewhere here on uh, the page for you to check out as well. All right, let's move on to what is available in regards to housing. All right, we're jumping into housing on Zillow. So just like you have that, we saw that um, red dotted line, we have a blue dotted line for basically the area or what's considered Yuli. It is a lot larger because that this truly is what Yuli is. And then you have like this strict cutoff because then this side is Fernandina. So with that being said, a lot of the homes, like I mentioned, are going to be around in this area and the home values are a little bit higher than even the north part of Jacksonville. You'll see that these are starting predominantly. I'd say there's a few that I see in the mid threes, but I would say probably the average price point is going to be in the mid fours and up and because you'll see I see like there's one here like for 1.53 million um, you're definitely getting a lot of home four bed five bath 3,000 square feet there's probably a ton oh wow this is very nicely done but you're yeah you're getting a lot more land and of course everyone wants a lot of land they don't want to be next to their neighbors or at least in some cases that I come across a lot of people don't want to be next to you know next door where they could just stick their arm out and pass some sugar or flour to their neighbor. So you are going to find a little bit more land in this area and just it also being a more uh, single family dominant area. In regards to walkability, I doubt that there is a very high walkability score. I mean, I would, if if I were you, especially in this Florida humidity and heat, I would highly encourage you to have a bike or some sort of uh, transportation uh, that has wheels. Definitely not an area unless you're within your community like wild, like wildlife, for example, uh, where there's just those walking paths and things like that, um, or where you can like golf cart to the front of the community where there's like, you know, different um, restaurants and things like that. Outside of that, I would highly encourage you to have a vehicle um, unless you like to sweat outside. <laughs> So with that being said, let's look a little bit closer into some of the other homes. So this is known as Florida State Road A1A, a.k.a. A1A. <laughs> Uh, so there's 31 new homes in this area. Let's see. So this is Del Webb. So Del Webb is part of what Zillow classifies as part of Yuli. So there's tons, like I mentioned, tons of brand new homes, brand new um, just restaurants and things like that. There's Tesla chargers located here. There's a hospital also over here as well that uh, was in progress the last time I was out there at the time of this recording. I was maybe out there maybe less than a month ago. My family and I, we love to come up to this area and sometimes we'll just stop if we're passing to go somewhere further north as well. But let's look at some of these resale homes. So there are some townhomes in the area, some that I have not previously seen predominant. And you can see there are two bed, three baths, like 1100 square feet. But predominantly what you're going to find is single family here. Let's check out another one. This one is a looks like it's a fixer upper, 
but it says new construction. Maybe this is what was on Google Maps previously, and then they put up a brand new home here. So, yep, it was newer construction and built in 2021, and this is on 3.8 acres, no HOA. It's been on Zillow for four days. And then let's look at another one for $6.99. This is vacant land. That's nice. It's 4.77 acres. Let's look at this next one. So this is also more vacant land for $8.99. This is more, so there's tons of vacant land in the area. Like I mentioned, it's highly, or it's in the progress of being developed, but it has come so far because there was none of this, like the, this was still, like I mentioned, a just two-way highway or one, two road highway where you know there's just you know maybe one or two lanes and you, that's it like it was very congested and used to take people a long time to get to the beach i will definitely say that <laughs> but let's look over on this side as well just at some of the different home sizes so if you're looking at the in the higher 300s your this home is priced a little bit differently compare in comparison to this one you're definitely getting more bang for your buck on this home versus this but this one also highlights the community amenities and then it also will just depend on where you're at and who the builder was you can see another community at wildlight wildlight is pulte a lot of resale homes as well a lot of open houses going on and you can also see like a lot of price cuts happening as well so at the time of this recording of course course this is you know a good time where you can get a lot more incentives than you could have in the past i just want to bring that to your attention as well and then off of highway 17 you have some more homes that are a little bit further and you can see that you're most likely getting a lot more land versus um, a newer modern home in some of these areas so have more like a mobile home or manufactured homes uh, back here a little bit further in the back um, because it is still being heavily developed and you'll start to see like as the community and area continue to grow and uh, develop you'll see a lot more of that going away um, like we saw in other areas like in uh, Jacksonville um, on the north side we saw a lot of that start to go away over time but it takes time so that concludes our map tour thanks so much for tuning in today and checking out Yuli Florida with me if you have any additional questions about Yuli please drop your comments in the comment section below this video I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. I do also want to say that if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about Jacksonville, Florida and surrounding areas. Again, my name is Yasha Wells, your favorite Jacksonville realtor. If you want to relocate or thinking about relocating to the area, book a discovery session with me. The link will be in the description below. Until next time. Bye.